Hello everybody and welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West where today we have to return the gizmo but also we gotta do that. Lofty ambitions. Go to the ruins with the dragon statue. Cause we're here to help our friends. Oh, I can't. No, never mind. We're trapped. Forever. If I could remember the buttons in this game, that would be super cool. Someday. I remember that one. <sighs> the dragon statue. <laughs> Is it? Oh, I thought it was up higher. Okay. I mean, the pagoda's over here. Come on, give me. Give me whatever this is. It's funny that neither of them brought up the this other looks ones. Like the place. No borrowers, though. Neither of them brought up the other other's quest. Oh no. Okay, let's have this. No. Yes. Then it will stop. Beeping at me to go elsewhere. And that must be the statue. Wow. Okay, I gotta find a way up there. There's a there was another dragon statue elsewhere, out front, I think. I'm hoping I killed the burrowers already uh, by you know, the ones that were outside, but we'll see. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Nothing. I need to get to the upper level. No. Maybe I can find something to stand on. Oh, uh, can I jump on that? Hang on, let's see. Oh my gosh, I'm actually just so good. <laughs> I'm so good. Okay. At least for that side. Um, is there something? Nope. Okay. Maybe I need to get up higher? Event. Ah, I was like, there's something glowing in Control that room. Focus. See what it picks up. What do you mean? Psychic Inferno. She'll fry your mind. Whoa. Psychic Inferno. World building. Okay. Let's go. You know, maybe it's a good thing I messed up on the... In the cauldron. What? Oh. Um, this could be useful. And did not do that cauldron when I was there, because I think that would have just fully engraved the madness into me. From the sounds of it, it was very difficult. Definitely seems like something you would do at the end game, but also it's just solidified my, res my resilience in not doing <laughs> cauldrons anymore. Unless it's part of a, like, a quest, somehow. Do you want me to go up here? Okay. Gotta get higher up to reach the statue. Yeah, but... Yeah, but... Well, it feels like I could grab onto the- oh, look at that. Like, it feels like I could grab onto that, but that's just, the, like, the yellow part. But that's just the hinge. Oh, date. Ah, okay, let's try this. Give it to me. Okay. Is this good enough? I think it is. 
I think I have to do something to get higher and like drop down on it. Ah. Do I want to be up here? Now, if only I could get in there. Oh my gosh, you can <gasps> climb on these? I did not know that. I was like, hopefully I can <laughs> latch onto it somehow. Aha. Uh -huh. Huh. Yeah, it's not spectacular enough. It's actual fire. You fool. Okay. Now to get the burner. Okay, okay, okay. Ah. Oh, that felt like that wasn't ah. gonna work. Wait, it's I'm gonna scream. <laughs> I'm so angry. <laughs> That's infuriating. I was like, I could I wasn't really clinging to the to the edges, so it felt like I was not gonna attach very well to it, you know? And uh, lo and behold, I did not. I did see that I could pick it up though, so I'll just need to be careful. Oh, that's gonna be... This is balls. This is... I was like, oh, I figured it out relatively quickly. That's nice. And then they give you a surface that you can't latch onto. Love that. No, thank you for making this game unnecessarily take more time. With the stupid... Stupid platforming. I will... I didn't enjoy it in Inquisition. I don't enjoy it in Horizon Forbidden West. To me, it just seems like an unnecessary way to like pad out your game. Like, oh, look how difficult it is. It's unnecessary, is what it is. If I wanted to play a platformer, I'd play a platformer. There we go. I managed to, like a bird, land on these little flat points. Whoa! Well, I got the burner. Better take what do you it back mean, to whoa? You're the one who shoved off its whole head. Oh, because Burrowers. Oh no. The ones that attacked Morland. This is not what I'm designed for. Ah! Run. Oh yeah. Okay. Not what I'm designed for. Woohoo! It has a ring to it, though. It makes me feel like I'm in some kind of epic adventure. <laughs> you? Adventurous? Thus he jested, negligent of the fact that his traveling companion was impervious to such quips. This isn't going to be a thing, is it? Because I will How abandon you it, in the middle of the desert. <laughs> We're talking about Here we go. that guy who speaks very... So ah, uh, poetically. <laughs> Spotted those rebels close by. Ah, our heroine, the delver of a deep, big lake, approached. It would be a bit odd to have him do it to everything. The Nora returned, but did she bring tidings of triumph or misfortune? I got the gizmo, and it's not the only one I found. Here. The old wordsmith. Keen spark in his eye and gratitude in his heart held aloft the gizmo that had eluded him. It's called an ornament, actually. Part of a set. Huh. You know, some delvers tapped a ruin north of here recently no. and said they saw a trinket like this one, beyond their reach. Might have been another one of these ornaments. That's worth looking into. And so the mystery of the ornament deepened. For what purpose were these trinkets designed? Something called the Knights of Light's Holiday Promotion. It's a way the old ones celebrated special occasions, I think. Like feasts? Kind of. 
I think a holiday marked a seasonal event? And so does every feast in the claim. There's the feast of the first keg, the feast of fermentation, <laughs> the all hops feast. All about ale, huh? I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Anyway, these ornaments could supposedly change the lights above ground, but I'm not sure how. Interesting. Hmm. I recognize this marking. Saw the same on a little device we unearthed. Here. It might be able to turn on the lights. Mm, time to find out. Which one should I try first? Oh, I get to choose? Uh, let's try this one. This one seems good. I hope Abaddon is ready for this. Is it gonna change? Ah. This must have been the feast of the Crescent oh Moon. Oh my gosh! They couldn't have celebrated every Crescent Moon, could they? By the forge, that'd be a lot of feasts. Oh! This Let me know if you find any more yeah, of those ornaments. Hey, hang on. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try the other ones. What other holidays the old ones celebrate? Let's see. So she entered once more. Uh -huh. So. I want to look at Christmas. Let's see this one. You got it. Sure as sparks kindle flame, oh. this must have been some kind of winter festival. But what kind of beast is that? Almost looks like a pain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is lovely. I'll give it that. That is nice. I didn't realize these were going to have a purpose. The old wordsmith's heart warmed as a friend returned. He's so nice. So, I do want to change the lights. I want to see this one. <laughs> she and looks so, so happy. The wordsmith set out to bring new light to the ruins above. I didn't realize these were going to have a purpose besides collecting them. Why by the forge would the old ones celebrate some kind of green leaf? <laughs> it's for luck, I think. Hmm. We'll leave it. That's perfect for Las Vegas, honestly. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Thanks. Oh my gosh, that is fun. Look at that. <laughs> this guy would be like... You're back! <laughs> Did you get well, it? I think he'd be surprised. That's not his part of his light show. Do you have the device? Oh, please say you do. Oh, we're so close to something truly majestic. Oh, jeez, calm down. Here you go, Moreland. Yes, yes. Thank Anything you. for an air balloon. I hope getting it wasn't too much. <sighs> oh, this design, it's so compact. Oh, the ancients knew how to make them. It should fit the housing like a dream. Just need to cinch up the blaze leads and away we go. <gasps> Uh, we wow. make the maiden flight without the maiden who played such a vital part. It's true. My mother raised me better than that. <laughs> you should have the honor of seeing the world in a way that no one alive has ever seen it. How about it? Yes. How can I say no to that? <laughs> My mother raised me better than that. <laughs> the maiden voyage without the maiden who made it possible. This is, oh, I'm so excited. This is so cool. We actually get to have an air balloon. I wonder if there will be restrictions. There has to be in some way. What was that? Ah, nothing to worry about. Uh. We have a sturdy tether connecting us to the ground. Pure Osirum craftsmanship. Well, time to give it a little flame. His hand isn't connecting with it. Aha! We ascend! Behold! Oh. The world beneath our feet. Ah, the sky at our fingertips. The burner heats the air inside, which gets lighter than what surrounds it. So we rise. Indeed! We're powered by hot air. Just like Stemmer. <laughs> but don't tell myself. Don't tell me. <laughs> wow! We are on the cusp of history. The first successful Osirum flight. There have been other attempts? Oh, yeah! The history of Osirum <laughs> flights is fascinating. Oh, yeah! And, you know, violence and 
frequently incendiary. I feel like you should have mentioned this before. Nah, the others failed because their machines were too heavy and complex. They were begging to crash. Not here. Just a pilot compartment, blaze, a burner, the orb and a tether. The orb. Within simplicity, there is perfection. Well, at least, you know, less chance of Uh, mistake. I don't... He is honestly, truly, just exceptional. <laughs> you know, if Abaddon were here, he'd be drunk like a wastrel. Crippling fear of heights. That said, he gets poetic when drunk. He has oh, provocative shoot. rhymes about all his various letters. That's weird. A little known fact, Osram poetry started as work songs and forges around the clay. That makes sense. <laughs> Just a bit of turbulence. We shall tame these wild skies. I want to go look at the yet. Ferris wheel. <sighs> this feels like more than turbulence. Uh, for the record, that was not part of the planned aerial experience. There's a sandstorm going. I knew it. We were. It was too. It was too what? good to be true. What's that? Uh, yeah. I think our tether just came undone. In a sandstorm. We should have been able to see this coming. Moreland. Oh. <laughs> That's just a small setback. Nothing to worry about. I can fix this! I can fix it! I can... Right the caskets! And it's gonna hit us! I think sandstorms can get so intense that they actually do have lightning. What hit us? What do you mean? What, was there an actual thing in the sky? Or like a, a... Like a... Like the Eiffel Tower or something? There's no way... There's no way. Stay back! No! Hey, hey, go away! There's no go. way we Shoot. survived a crash. Oh, Moreland. He's in danger. I have to get to We him. were up like a thousand no. feet in the sky. Ah. No! Gotta follow his voice. Moreland's stuck on the other side. I've gotta clear oh, out these machines. Oh, Apex long leg. Weak to frost. Scrapper. Okay, but he's not like in imminent. Oh, he's okay. He's over there. Okay, well. What are you weak to? Probably. Oh, okay. Let's actually just do explosives. Yeah, hold on, buddy. I got you. But like all things done well, we need to have patience. Also, if it crashed and broke and is like gone forever, I'm gonna be really sad. I was really excited about it. Oh, you hush. I was hoping that that explosive would hit the other one and it would, they would both go off, but alas. Oh, there it is. Dang it, man. They made it. They, 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 they gave me something close to greatness, and they took it away. Oh, stuck. <laughs> he should stop hollering is what he should do. What kind of did you come from? Could show me how to override you. Oh my gosh, please stop. Ooh, that was close. Somebody help me with these machines. If it starts scanning, I'll have to change. Okay, hang on. Wrong button. What I want 
is... No. Oh wow, that did almost nothing to you. You are Apex, so I should have expected it. I hate these things. They're so loud. Oh! oh. Okay. Yep. That's the last one. Yay. Better check on Moreland. Hold on, Moreland. I'll get you yeah, out. Yeah, hold on, Moreland. Aloy. Great gears, you're alive. Uh, would you mind applying a little leverage? I got you, buddy. No worries. Oh, we have some green shite. Where am I? Hmm. Wow, we, we went pretty far. That's a calm boy. So many question marks. What? Green shine. I'm in luck. Did I get all that I wanted? I think so. Don't worry, buddy. I got you. If this is payback for a suboptimal flight, I have accepted your feedback <laughs> and I thank you for it. <gasps> oh now my please gosh! Get this thing off me. Just hey, you all right? Let me get stuff. Oh, oh when that maelstrom hit us. Everything fell apart. I remember dropping, and then you tumbled out, and... That's okay. We're alive. Somehow. You know, in terms of Osram aviation, <laughs> we're pioneers. He's incorrigible. And they say it's a cursed field of study. <laughs> Do you need help getting back to camp? Yeah, no, I can make it. But I need to get the burner. It fell off when we doing? were attacked. I mean, I can replace everything else. Except that. Okay, let's go. Do you have any idea what hit us? I couldn't get a good look at it in that maelstrom. Between the screeching and the lightning, huh. it was probably a storm bird. Really? Woof! Hideous machine. Oh. Well, at least it vanished with the storm. Oh no. Oh no no. That's not how this works. I'll gather these while I can. What would a storm bird be doing out there? Like, mm, yes, I'm gonna fly through a maelstrom. Oh. Aloy, would you mind finding a why, way across? Why am I the only one? All we need is something to bridge the gap. I think I found us a bridge. Oh, here? You might have. Oh, okay. I can't. I can. But huh? first, there is stuff below me I need to go look at. Oh. Have fun, Moreland. Oh, get off. Efficient and effective. <laughs> Make a fine Osiris. I think I would, actually. I think this will be my first time being able to do these in the wild. Ah. Oh, okay. We're, I feel like, aren't we kind of using the technology that, like, eats things? Kind of. Huh? Oh, wow, wow. Yeah, crazy. I hate flying. I hate I see the it. flying The burner ones. is right below that storm bird. Ah, uh, yeah. I really need to stop making predictions on what's safe. Gotta be the same one that brought us down. We'll have to kill it to get the burner. You ready? Ready as all. I did ever notice be. earlier, at the very, very beginning of the cutscenes, that he had a had a crossbow on his back, and I was like, mm, "That's crazy." Hmm. I don't think there's anywhere for me to hide, so I don't think I can do my usual trap stuff against. Against birdies, anyway. We can take them, partner. Meat versus acid and plasma. 
I do have something that's good for flying creatures. is so frustrating because they are you need ammo wasted ordinance waste charge they wear off so fast I am out of everything. Hey uh, over here. Oh, what do you have a moment? Find a use for this. Yeah, no worries. I'll be over there in a second. <laughs> At least the rope caster worked once. That was nice. It's dead. Steel to my soul. Oh. Oh, I think that Stormbird had it in for <laughs> me or really fancied my orb. I don't know what it would like about your orb, but... Found it. Ah, <laughs> oh, just a hairline crack in the casing. Yeah, I can clean that up with a bit of spot welding. Assuming the ground doesn't open up and swallow us, I, uh, I'm gonna say we're finally safe. You're a jinx monster. Yet again, you risked your life. Like a behemoth. For me and my ambitions. I wish I had Stemmer's words to thank you properly. If it helps, you've inspired me to draft up a new improved orb. Something that unites spectacle and survival. Uh, I'm honored, but I think I'll let Abaddon and Stemmer have the next no! fight. No! I'll see you back at the camp. I have so much to think about. So many ideas to explore. This is probably one of my favorite characters. Until we meet again. He's so enthusiastic. May your tools never break, and may your imagination never find its limits. You too, Morland. I wish people spoke like that still. I know I've mentioned it before, but I really do wish people spoke like that still. I mean, probably a lot of people do, but I feel like, at least in America, it's all very dry and boring. Thank you. My condolences. I'm sorry. I'll see you later. You know? Very boring. Very dry. Seeing Vegas from this distance is awesome. The Joshua trees! Oh, I suck. I've missed the Joshua trees. Actually, uh, funny enough, I guess I'll end the video by a quick update. I did um, finally apply for, and within the day, got a job for more archaeology work. I've been just kind of chilling at my parents for a while, visiting my youngest sisters who are growing up faster than I, than I ever thought possible. So it's been nice to hang out with them. Um, but it is time for me to move on back into the wandering ways. And back to my work. So I'm excited. I've been I've been feeling a bit of the wanderlust bug for a bit. So it's it's time. It's time to get back out there. So I'm excited. Um, hopefully it doesn't interfere too much with uploads, but we'll see. That that is uh, always a question with the nomadic lifestyle. But it's been a question here. <laughs> so all up in the air all the time. But thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially my two sapling tier patrons, Reese Galito, thank you so much for your support, and Adam, thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate you both. Um, and an extra special shout out to Christopher, my tree tier patron, who is the super bestest and who I super appreciate, and I hope you're doing well, and yeah, so thank you all again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.